Good morning, everyone, or afternoon, I'm sorry. Good afternoon, everyone. And we have a bunch of states today to cover in our gubernatorial election update. And we're going to start with Connecticut, which we actually have some new polling out. Um, or polling that I, yeah, new polling. And from both uh, Sacred Heart University, I haven't looked at, the, I'll go ahead and take a quick look at their methodology. Or, okay, research methodology snapshot. Telephone, okay, number of completed is 502, okay, good, number question 21. Sample is Connecticut residents, the target is likely voters. Okay, they have a decent confidence level and margin of error. I want to see the questions they asked. Included, okay. Alrighty. So that's less than 4%, it's 3.9% difference. Okay. Huh. worried about a high tax burden okay so these should be the questions okay yeah okay Looking at this, oh yeah, no. well, that that's a reasonable amount for Connecticut, to be quite honest. Um, okay. Okay, so looking at the methodology, I'd love to see how they broke it down, how many women they interviewed, how many men they interviewed, all that stuff. I'm willing to consider this a reputable poll. I would love to see the cross tables, more, like who they interviewed, but I think this can be considered a reputable poll, uh, just like the Quinnipiac poll. Uh, and sorry, I wasn't talking much during uh, while I was reading that poll. I was trying to make sure it was reputable and all that. Uh, Quinnipiac poll shows a 13-point advantage, but a 5-point advantage in the Sacred Heart uh, University poll. I'm more inclined to trust Quinnipiac because they have a very strong track record, and I'm still going to leave it as leans, but I reserve the right to change that to likely um, in the near future. That's tilt them, by the way, for Rhode Island. Uh, in Minnesota, I'm not going to change its rating from where I had it, which was Leans Democrat, but a new poll from Suffolk University came out, and they're reputable. I mostly trust them to do their methodology correctly. Um, that kind of goes in line with where I was thinking the race uh, was, uh, and that allows me to keep my confidence level where it is or, and not really change it. Um, Ohio, I don't feel leans Republican is a good way to describe this race. I'm going to tilt it towards Mark DeWine, but I really have zero confidence in this prediction um, because it could just as easily go Democrat, but I wouldn't have enough, but I don't have enough confidence to call it anything more than a tilt Democrat. So I figure I'll leave it with the incumbent party until I have more and better information because this is way too close for a race to actually make an honest prediction. I'm going to downgrade Oklahoma to likely Republican. 
mostly because it does seem that... Um, okay, yeah. It does seem that uh, the runoff is not going to produce um, the best candidate for the Republicans. Uh, they kind of didn't do well in the... They didn't choose the right people in the primary. I'm going to downgrade it to likely Republican, though I suspect that's going to change after the runoff. Um, and then we have a Marquette University poll for Wisconsin showing Scott Walker ahead or tied, depending on which one you want to trust. Um, the likely voters uh, actually brings it into a tie, and the registered voters brings it to a Scott Walker lead, which is really interesting, by the way, because normally likely voters improves the Republican uh, margin. I typically tend to favor likely voters. Um, so I'm going to favor this poll over this poll. And I'm going to say that this is only a tilt dem race at the very best. Um, again, I'm kind of, maybe my predictions are lagging behind some people who would have this as leans Democrat just because of the way the race is, just because of the polls. No. No, why? God, even looks ugly. Sorry, uh, I'm getting campaign ads for the 9th Congressional District. Number one, I'm not voting for Flacavento. And second, good God. <laughs> and again, I shouldn't really say anything by the way people look. Uh, no, I, I'm sure he's a good person, but no, no. He does not represent what people of the 9th want. Um... But anyway, oh, it seems like the Democrats uh, are really trying to get after me because they, which is weird, but whatever. Anyway, so this is currently what my map looks like, and this is what the parties would be according to... Uh, According to if my if all of my predictions hold. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Day it easy. Uh, by the way, Sunday I had some things come up, so I'm just gonna do a house prediction video um, that day. Um, I'll have that up sometime before noon on the East Coast, so middle of the afternoon if you're across the pond. Um, yeah, and most of my videos uh, after Sunday are going to be in the afternoon, uh, simply because that's when I have time uh, for, for the foreseeable future. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you had a nice day. Uh, take it easy, and uh, thank you. Bye.